The vehicle you see behind me is the facelifted Kia Tasman. No, I'm only joking. It is the crash tested Kia Tasman and um, we're at the NCAP crash lab today in Sydney just to have a bit of a behind the scenes look at what goes into a crash test. If you haven't heard of ANCAP, it's short for the Australasian New Car Assessment Program and basically provides safety ratings on new cars sold in Australia and New Zealand. Officially, ANCAP is an independent vehicle safety authority partially funded by the government, whose job it is to help consumers make informed choices about their next car. You'll see things like bus seats here, they test seat belts, uh, motorcycle abrasion equipment, so things like that. Um, yeah, lots of other different things, helmet testing, there's lots that goes on inside this lab. Despite the prominence of its five-star rating system, a common misconception is that ANCAP testing is mandatory. But it's not. And over the years, the independent safety body has copped its fair share of criticism, even from major car manufacturers, who argue that its increasingly strict criteria, which is updated every three years, are driving up vehicle costs. Still, the value of a five-star ANCAP rating remains undeniable and has a tangible influence on both fleet and private buyer decisions. So all this wiring is all the um, information that when the vehicle is crashed, they'll plug a laptop in, all the sensors and things that they need to see how the vehicle performed. So that's the newest and latest dummy and that costs up to $1.8 million just for him. His name's Thor. These are very expensive dummies. As you can see, these are um, yeah, very technical tests. But the tape on the head here will um, make contact with the airbag and it will sort of make marks on the airbag um, to see where the head hits and how much impact it has. The vehicle's not on, so it's not testing anything like AEB, um, or any other sort of safety systems like that. It's only testing the crash itself and the airbags. So it's in a sort of accessory mode. So um, the airbags will go off obviously and that's what we've got the dummies in there to test and see how they fare in an accident. Very exciting. We're about to see this go down the runway 50 kilometers an hour and have a head on with a trolley, which is weighted of course. So it's a it's a, I think a 1400 kilo trolley that it runs into, which is also traveling at 50 kilometers. So two 50 kilometer an hour objects going head to head. All right, so that's where we just came out of. That's where the Tasman is and that little roller door runs all the way down here. And this is the whole setup. So this is just about here is where the crash occurs. These lights will go lights, camera action. <gasps> that is so bright, wow. Okay, we're heading up to the viewing platform, so it's gonna happen just down there any minute now. We're about to go have a look at the incident. Bit of coolant. So there are the markings from the head of the dummy. So you can see where it's hit. There's no knee airbags in this one, but you can see that both front airbags went off. There's a centre airbag there, and then the curtain airbag just on that side, not on this side, because the impact was just on that front right. Obviously we can't touch anything, but as you can see, all that front end crumpled in, radiator's gone back, and uh, yeah, all the supports have done their job so that the occupants haven't had an impact. Um, into the cabin. Another angle for you so you can see that, you know, if you look at the back end here, oh, just a regular ute. Nook a minute, it is, uh, yeah. 
So that was four out of six crashes for the Tasman that um, it's still got to go. It's still got a bit of driver assist testing to go. But yeah, from what we saw, it fared pretty bloody well. It wasn't as loud as I expected from the viewing platform. There's plenty to see um, if you're interested in watching the full crash test. You can watch that at ANCAP's website. Well, thanks very much for joining us on this behind the scenes look at an ANCAP crash test. They can really only crash test one vehicle per week here. It takes about 12 weeks in total to go through the full cycle of testing a new vehicle. It's a lengthy process. It's also really expensive. It costs about $750,000. Um, and that depends on the, the cost of the vehicle. So they have to buy about six vehicles. They either buy them or they get given them by the manufacturer. It depends on whether the manufacturer offers them up as well. Um, but in this case, yes, Kia provided the um, Tasmans for testing. So yeah, it'll be really interesting to see the results. There you have it. Thanks for coming along and see you on the next one.